So Beyonce recently launched a brand new hair product line. And guys, some people are upset and downright mad about the fact that she did this. So hey guys, welcome to my video. It's Cammy J official, so let's start the show. My name is Cammy. welcome or welcome back to my channel. Let's go ahead and get right to the video. So anytime Beyonce makes major moves, of course it's going to make major waves. And this hair care product line is no exception. I mean, the people who are upset, I'm gonna read their comments and we are gonna discuss all the things that they are saying. And I also want to show you right now some of the posts that were shared by Beyonce on her Instagram page to introduce this new hair product line. Today we're gonna to transform it. We're gonna show you some magic that Beyonce and her team have been working with. I've never tried anything like this before and it's revolutionary. My brain got like an exfoliation of her life, girl. I feel like my hair needed this. It's never felt like this before. I can feel like my hair is already being kind of hydrated. It smells good. It's good to find a product that can actually treat curly hair. It looks like I just colored my hair. It looks so refreshed. How did you get my hair so shiny? Now the hair care line, the name of it is called Sacred. And honestly y'all, that is a super cute and very inventive kind of creative name to describe her hair line. And basically it harkens to Beyonce's thoughts about hair and hair care overall, that it is sacred and personal. So that is a part of her branding messaging. So let's get to some of the complaints people had under the IG reel that she shared for sacred, right? So as you can see from the visuals that were shared about the brand, everything was very all inclusive okay this is not a brand that is specifically for one type of hair and some people in the comments were saying that they kind of feel betrayed right because they're saying beyonce is a black artist her mother is a hairstylist and so they feel like she should have solely brought a brand that focused on those things but as you can see all kinds of hair types were being represented they had curly hair they had uh, uh, kinky coily hair represented they had straight hair represented so if you are going in thinking that this is going to be some type of brand that is solely focused on quote unquote black hair care it is not and with her advertising of it it definitely dispelled and put to rest any thoughts or notions of that which again led to some people feeling as though they already don't like the brand so many of the comments that were angry and upset and high rate under her instagram post were going on and on about the fact that they do not believe that Beyonce is relatable. That was one of the top two complaints I saw, right? That were going on in the comments under her post. So what did they mean by Beyonce isn't relatable? So the relatability for them comes in to the point that they say Beyonce never wears her real hair and all they know Beyonce for over the past however many years of her entire career are wigs and people felt like that was extremely disingenuous of her to launch a hair care line when she is not known for caring for her own hair or you know promoting hair care in any way shape or form they believe that this would have been a better launch for her mother tina than it would be for her because her mother is actually the one you know that was a licensed cosmetologist and has decades of working with hair and products so they feel for beyonce to be at the forefront of this they feel like in a way they, they think that she's lying. I really only know Beyonce for wearing wigs as it comes to hair, right? So one person says here, hair products when she's always in a wig, question mark. I don't get it, but okay. Someone says, is this a hair care line or is this a wig line, question mark. Now this one is, is out of pocket, but she said this weird, you don't wear your hair out but selling hair care. They said, I believe Kelly before you. And again, there goes that believability. So another comment said, why not a wig line though? Question mark, question mark. Wouldn't that make sense? And the person under, right, they responded and said, she would have to admit 
she wears them then. So I kind of find it funny that people would bring up weaves and wigs in a way to make it seem like Beyonce has been lying to us all these years about her wearing wigs and weave. I thought to me, I mean, y'all can tell me if, if I'm wrong, but I always assumed that she wore lace front wigs and weaves when doing her shows and everything else because the hair was giving an amazing wig. It was giving like a beautiful, expensive wig look, right? So to me, on the outside looking in, I never in my frame of mind said, oh yeah, Beyonce is trying to pass this wig off as her real hair. Now, I could be wrong. There could be instances. Again, I don't really follow Beyonce um, all like that to know every single facet of her hairline history, okay? But I do know generally that I've never heard her in an interview say, oh yeah, this is my real hair, when it was apparent that she was wearing a wig. But you guys comment below and let me know. Now, just because somebody wears a wig a lot, I don't automatically think that should disqualify them from being able to create something for hair because let's be honest okay you have to take care of the hair that's underneath the wig and i highly doubt that beyonce okay is neglecting her hair underneath those wigs now what another person brought up about the sacred website itself was the fact that on this website that is supposed to be all about Beyonce's passion for hair care, the photo on her story telling you know everything about how she created Sacred and why it's so near and dear to her, she is posing in a photo where people have been calling it out saying Beyonce is clearly wearing a wig, wearing a weave, extensions, whatever you wanna call it, okay? They're, they're saying she's not wearing her real hair in this photo that's on this website for hair care, yet she wants us to buy into the notion that she is really passionate about hair care. People are saying, we want to see Beyonce's real hair. And on the website under the R story sharing that, people are saying that this photo here is not a good representation. They're saying it's not a good look. It's not making them want to buy the product because they're saying that this is weave in Beyonce's hair. They're saying that this is an impeccable lace front, another one of the impeccable lace fronts that she is known for wearing. Now, I cannot validate that or not, okay? I was not there for this picture when Beyonce had her hair done. So I cannot say for certain if it is a wig or not, they're saying she's not really showing us her hair. And another point I would like to bring up to is during the visuals that she shared on Instagram, um, she was in one of the reels for like about two seconds. showing her hair laid back in the wash bowl and somebody washing it, right? But people are saying they want to see Beyonce do this. And this person says, let us see your hair, Beyonce. We are your target market and we want to see your hair. We don't wanna have to hunt in Google, just post some pictures of your hair. It's not that complicated. Yes, it's an issue. Isn't it always? Because you can see we are emotional about the subject of black hair. Some are still going to be skeptical because let's face it, the way hair extensions are now can make it look like that mess is growing out of your head on a photo. They wanna see Beyonce do her hair. They wanna see Beyonce all up in the camera. They wanna see her scalp. They wanna see it being washed, blow dried, brushed. They want to see the whole nine yards because they're saying if you're selling us hair care, we need to see you care for your hair. And they're saying right now the website and the imaging and the visuals that were given for the launch and promotion of sacred hair care is not giving that to them. So another gripe that people brought up in, you know, them being angry and frustrated with Beyonce launching this hair care line is the fact that they're saying Beyonce does not engage with her audience. And when we say her audience, I don't mean at the concerts, okay? I mean the audience online, on social media. So they're saying, for example, let's take Rihanna. It's just to put things into perspective, okay? When we look at Rihanna and we look at the Fenty Empire, which it is right now, okay? Fenty, Fenty has a lot of things on lock. When we look at the Fenty Empire, when I go on Rihanna's Instagram, 
I always see her. I see her in the commercials. I see her not only in the commercials and the promotion, but I see her actively doing things. She's not a placeholder. She's not in the background. She's not just being featured, okay, in the post. Rihanna is all up in there. Whether it be Savage X Fenty, we see her putting on the lingerie. She's demonstrating whether she's pregnant or not. She will have the two-piece lingerie on because she is going to promote her her brand Rihanna is there and she is extremely present okay with her brand she's done live videos she's heavily involved and she is heavily in contact with her audience her audience feels like you know we are one with her and a lot of people are saying with Beyonce they don't get that vibe from her at all but they do want that vibe to add to the relatability they're saying that she lacks when it comes to this beauty or you know this hair care space that she has now entered into. So here is why I really think some people are so upset, so mad, and so disgruntled when it comes to Beyonce's hair care launch, right? And the reason I believe that they're so mad and upset is one, some people just don't like Beyonce. Let's just be honest. She's highly successful and you know what they say. The star that burns brightest in the sky is always going to be the one with the most scrutiny laid upon it. And because Beyonce is one of the biggest stars, she is going to be scrutinized heavier, harder, and more often than anyone else. So another reason why I feel like people are truly upset about this is because people are suffering from celebrity beauty overload. Like y'all have to admit, every time you look around, it seems like a celebrity is launching something, okay, in the care space. And when I say the care space, guys, I mean whether it be hair care, body care, skin care, but do they care? And that is what the consumer really wants to know. Almost every celebrity is doing it, which is why I was not surprised that Beyonce entered into the hair care space. And I will not be surprised when she enters into the makeup space. But like when I thought about it, Gabrielle Union has a hair care line. JLo has a skincare line. John Legend, John Legend has a skincare line and the list goes on and on. You're going to find celebrities with their hands in the beauty industry pot. Why? Because there is money to be made. Now, what I will say is really great about Beyonce's hair care line is the fact that she does have a scholarship slash grant set up in order to help people who are in cosmetology school go ahead and make it through. And I'm gonna post the details, okay, of Beyonce's scholarship grant here. But comment below and let me know what are your honest feelings about celebrity care lines, whether it be hair care, body care, skin care. But guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Also consider subscribing to my channel, clicking on that notification bell, so that way you know whenever I post more videos. But as always, stay safe, stay blessed, and I will catch you in the next video. Mwah. Bye!